Yeah, now a raccoon or a raven or something can come along and have a little dinner. Everybody gets to eat today. <laughs> so I'm out trekking around the forest today. Snowing, as you can see. <laughs> the ground's real soft right now, so the deer tracks are showing up real good. I want to show you. I put up a stand last fall. I only hunted out of it one day and uh, I watched a doe for about 20 minutes, but I didn't shoot her. But I knew the stand was in a really good spot. So anyway, I'm walking along, check this out. You can see the deer tracks right here. Two deer funneled right through right here. Okay, there's some more deer tracks over there. My stand is right there, you know that? I'll move over a little bit, you can see it. Yeah. See the stand right there? In a good spot. So I'm gonna do some more trimming and camouflaging of that stand to be in good shape come fall. I got some other stand locations picked out too. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> nice. When I crossed the brook over there, I saw some track, big round track. They weren't defined at all because they were in that real soft stuff. It wasn't a deer and I knew it wasn't a moose because a moose would be sinking in quite a bit. First thing I thought of was bear, but I didn't pay too much attention to it. And uh, you can see it over here, <laughs> a little bit of remnant there. Right there, over there. The bears, they don't leave much much track at all. You rarely ever see a bear track unless it's in the soft mud or in the snow. You get an animal, that, you know, a big mature male or something might be 400 pounds or even better, and they don't leave any track. Good weight distribution on them. <laughs> but it's always interesting. When you see bear tracks, get you on your toes, you know, get you alert. But I'd rather see those than a human footprint out here. I take bear tracks over human tracks any day of the week. So it's been an interesting little trek this morning. I saw some fresh moose sign, some real, real fresh deer sign, and now some real fresh bear sign. The snow has stopped. Heard a grouse drumming on my trek there and got a few trout. Can't argue with that. That's what I moved up here for. I want a lot more of that. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's why I came here. That's what I'm going to do. So that is that. <laughs> I want to show you over here, this bear trap. You see where he kicked that snow up right there. He kicked the snow up. Right, let's see. That's loose, so he came through. I probably, probably startled him. So you keep on running, you keep on going. <laughs> I'm going that way. <laughs> So I'm out doing a bit of soul searching this morning. I've been doing a lot of that recently. You know, uh, winter's finally over, and I'm back to work on the camp. Been doing some. Uh, got all the framework done upstairs, all the interior partitions. Been doing some drywalling and some mudding, and a little bit later today I'll be doing some more mudding. 
Probably get the final coat of all that done. Start putting the little office together. Anxious to have that little workspace. Yep. So, I wanted to take a moment and bring everyone up to speed because I'm taking a little step back from YouTube for a while. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to stop making videos. I'm going to continue on. But I'm kind of just taking a step back. Now that the long winter is over and I'm back to work on things, I, I, uh, I didn't move this far into the woods to have a desk job. Okay? I really have no desire of being this big YouTube sensation. I like to make videos. I, I really enjoy the process of it, making the stories, sharing stuff with people, inspiring people. I really like it when people of all ages write to me and they say that I've inspired them and they're living their dream and they're building a cabin or I just got them off their ass and now they're out doing stuff, you know? It's encouraging and it's a win-win for me and I really like it. A few years back when I did my Back to My Roots series and that was when I had my epiphany there and I was like, oh, I'm going to sell out of New York and I'm going to move here and I'm going to fix this cabin and I'm going to live out here and that's what I did and now that I'm here, I'm not going to sit inside the camp editing videos day in and day out. That kind of stuff might work for the other YouTubers, but it's not what I want to do, okay? So, I'm just kind of doing a little reevaluation. time for some change, get life back to normal. Doing the things that make me happy. Uh, I want to be happy. I want to stay happy. And being out in my kayak, catching some trout this morning, kept me happy. I want to do more of that. I'm going to do out, get out there, and do a bunch of hiking, some camping, and uh, I'm going to continue to film the process and bring you along on my journeys. So, don't think that I'm leaving YouTube because I'm not. I'm just taking a step back because it's life first, and I'm going to practice what I preach. And that is that. <laughs> so all the best to you folks. <laughs> God bless.